I don't know, I've just kind of been on a thing with making um, vloggy type videos this last few days. I don't know if it's just like kind of a mental rush from the huge sudden surge. I think I just passed the part before I got in here where my uh, subscribers just tripled and this is so bizarre to me and like I've been assured by a few people uh, who have spoken to me in private that, you know, I was just saying what's been on a lot of people's minds for years and years and years, and there are some comments um, that say as much without directly saying that. Uh, some from the same people, some from other people uh, who have not spoken to me privately, but, you know, that's... Uh... And then there's at least one person who said that she pretty much was thinking just what I was saying, but just trying to, like, articulate the words, and that's all great, and... Uh, again, I know, and I keep saying this, and I keep repeating myself, and I'm sure somebody, uh, besides, uh, Princess and her stage monster, and their little fanboys and girls are all about, all like, well, well you just, you know, the princess just wanted to get attention until I asked her little wings, and I'm like, no, no, I just kind of had my fill of these goddamn 20 minute commercials after commercials after commercials. Ah, uh, I'm trying to time this so that I, I use up all of the developer and all of the, uh, you know, this hair dye all in one go so that I can switch to a henna, um, you know, like a black, you know, henna and indigo sort of thing, so that, you know, which is going to be a lot nicer to my hair, especially with my old age. At the very least, you know, I, much like many people in my family, I don't look it. Uh, it's mostly on my dad's side, too. Like, we got some crazy Irish vampire genes on his side. Which I'm not at all complaining about. It's just like, um, even though I have had several hairdressers assure me that I do not have any real signs of true androgenic alopecia, that I, you know, male pattern baldness, you know, it is most likely just some breakage that, um, this is taking the damnedest time to recover from, uh, cause... Uh, before I went back to black, I was bleaching my hair uh, about half the time. Uh, I want to say like the first half of this uh, period of time. Let's see. Oh god, let's see. I had my hair white for about three years. And then I was doing, you know, this combo. And I went with the top half of my hair. So like the rest was, you know, black. But like the top half and all that, I went, um, basically I went with like some peacock colors. So, um, turquoise, uh, let's see, uh, turquoise, I forget the Manic Panic name for it, but it was Manic Panic colors. Uh, turquoise, Violet Night, and shit, 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 the emerald green one. I don't know if they've discontinued that or not. I know they've discontinued a few colors. Um, uh, Violet Night is really close to one that they used to do called Plum Passion. Uh, when I had um, when I had purple uh, in my hair when I was about uh, 19 and 20, I um, what did I do? Yeah, yeah. This is all this is all growth. I've got some very short new growth. That is... Okay, yeah, it, it is fairly... It is fairly dense back here, right? Please, somebody in the comments tell me that... Whether or not it's, like, densely spaced, because it feels like it is. But I can't see the top of my head. Oh, wait, I got a mirror. Yeah, yeah, like, I have hair. I have hair. It is hair here. I mean, like, always... You know, there's, you know, like, I mean, it's not completely uniform density. Um, like, but yeah, it is, like, there are no 
clear spots where it is like gone, gone, or like much thinner there than it is, you know, like in an especially significant manner. It's just I don't know. There's like this little weird spot where it gets where it only where it doesn't get much longer than about this. This. I'm not flipping you off. I'm showing where my thumb ends because that's about how I'm measuring it right now. And it's so weird, and it's driving me nuts, and so, let's see, there's that, and then there's that, and I put that away, and that's what's in here, and so, this was, actually, this is the same as this, uh, Mystic Divine Luminous Shine Permanent Liquid Creme Hair Color, number 1B Blue Black, this is from Sally Beauty, and I've got the uh, the companion 10 volume developer, which is deposit only. So uh, I've seen like I see mixed pe things from people. They s a lot of them say that you know oh deposit only, it's not going to be permanent. But in my experiences, it's permanent. It just it's a lot gentler than the 20 volume, um, which is kind of the default that a lot of uh. Ch -ch 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 um, um, hair people who go to school, like, uh, default seems to be 20 volume for any kind of hair thing, uh, hair coloring. And I've got this, it's this little key to, like, squeeze the, you know, squeeze the last of it out of the tube, extra tight and all, and, uh, I was noticing... Um, when I was putting a video together, uh, last night, maybe? I don't know. Um, that I have been picking at this ear a lot. Basically, I, uh, I fell asleep accidentally with, uh, with, uh, this in my face. You know, um, uh, nostril chain with the, uh, with the, uh, um, the fish hook style earring post. And my guess is this is some cheap-ass base metal, which may have some nickel in it. And I think I'm a little sensitive because uh, I woke up and this was, my earlobe was so irritated. And it's been like a week since I had that out, but it still itches. <laughs> it still itches. So I keep fiddling with it, which is not what you want to do while, you're, while you want it to heal. You want to do the exact opposite of that. But, ADHD, right? Uh, I also throw into my hair dye thing a packet of this for the psoriasis. Uh, care and comfort with, made with BioCure Concentrate. Stops itching, burning scalp when added to bleach, toner, or permanent wave. And, you know, I just tried this once. Um, yeah, I usually only need the one packet. Um, if I'm having a horrible, um, outbreak of, on my scalp with the psoriasis. So, uh, here's, here's something that I'm going to tell you about my psoriasis. And I didn't intend, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I turned on the camera in the bathroom today. Other than, I can't get the door all the way closed because I didn't take hangers <laughs> off the door and... I need to put shit up on some combo of, like, eBay, and I've got Depop on my phone now. And because I accurately list myself as male on there, they're giving me these, um, recommendations for these clothes that aren't my thing. But that's another story for another time. So, then what happens? Oh, psoriasis. So, I have been dealing with psoriasis most of my life, and I mean that in the most literal sense, because I am 38 years old, and I have been dealing with psoriasis for about 30 years. I was in third grade when it was discovered uh, on my scalp for the first time, and this was not by... A parent, you know, most children with long hair, my mother, you know, would often, you know, brush and braid my hair, uh, but it was not discovered by my mother, you know, even though she was indeed doing all of that. 
It was not discovered by my father or my pediatrician or any of that. It was discovered at school. It was discovered by a nun during the annual lice check. So here's how it went. So, you know, they're doing the annual lice check and they get the, uh, the, the chopsticks. I'm sure they've got a... I don't know if they've got a name, but you know what I'm talking about when I say that. So they take the chopsticks to your head and, like, go looking for bugs and nits throughout your hair um, or throughout your scalp, and they just, like, they use the chopsticks, you know, like these, only less fancy, and they go like... Burr, 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 doo, 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 doo. There's not a cat for me to demonstrate on, but I don't need to demonstrate. You know what I'm doing. You know what the universal sign for looking through somebody's hair looks like. I trust you to be smart enough for that. Trust at least half of you anyway. The half of you who I have probably responded to comments from. But that's another story for another time. So, um, so yeah, they're, uh, they're going through my head with the chopsticks on lice check day at my very tiny Catholic school. Like, seriously, I briefly worked for another school within the Metro Detroit Archdiocese. See, this is another reason that Toledo, Ohio is Detroit, because it's still the same. It's still the Detroit Archdiocese. And, yes, I grew up Catholic, so, yeah, like, Toledo, Ohio is Metro Detroit. Uh, if not on the same principle that Gary, Indiana is the greater Chicagoland area, but at least on the principle that, you know, the Vatican says so. Uh, I don't know why this feels so good right now. This side has a little bit of a burn to it. I probably could have put a second one of these in here, but at the same time, Sally just jacked the price up by 15 cents. And I know you're thinking, 15 cents, that's, you know, that's 15 cents. And I'm like, yeah, but I got three of these this last time I went in. And, um, 15 cents times three is 45 cents, which is five cents short for one-third a load of my laundry. So, you know, you scoff, but I know what 15 cents can do. And, uh, so then what happens? Oh, yeah, so, lies check day, and the nuns. Oh, yeah, um, so, yeah, I was, I saw this, uh, little book one time at, uh, well, I was briefly working at that school. It was going through some renovation period. Oh, God. This was around 2002, I believe. And uh, so, yeah, it was uh, St. Andrews. I think St. Andrews. Yeah. That makes some amount of sense. At least from my brain right now. And uh, this is the one in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Which, if you are another gay, and Rochester Hills, Michigan sounds at all familiar to you, but you are not from the greater Metro Detroit area, I will remind you why that sounds familiar. Because that is where uh, Madonna Ciccioni grew up, though uh, um, her, uh, her family has gone with the anglicized pronunciation of Sakonian you know, the last few decades, but I, uh, I don't know, I lived in, I lived in Europe off and on for some years, so that's another, that's something else, but, uh, but yeah, that, and it was indeed her old Catholic school, so, uh, uh, I've got a couple secondhand stories from my friend Charles, whose parents are family friends of, uh, her parents, or, you know, to be technically correct, her, uh, her father and stepmother. But, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> La Madonna cannot, yeah. She's, she's a horrible person. <laughs> she really is. And if you went to Catholic school, yes, indeed, the, the nuns there, you know, even though they're plainclothes nuns, they are still some shady women. Like, there's a reason so many drag queens grew up Catholic. 
<laughs> you know, they learned that shade from somewhere, and they learned it from the sisters. Like, the sisters, they, they learned it from them. But, uh, and then what happens? Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, my old Catholic school, uh, in this little Detroit Archdiocese directory, never really had more than maybe 250 students tops, and this is kindergarten through eighth grade. So, then what happens? At, uh, life check day, at my tiny Catholic school, which, like I said, kindergarten through eighth grade, was 250 students tops. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the younger sister who is, uh, working on my head, and, uh, she, she apparently notices something, which, you know, turned out to be big, thick-ass, red, yet oddly also white and gray and flaky patches of skin. So, if you're unfamiliar, uh, plaque psoriasis, chronic to severe, as they say in the commercials, uh, that is, it is an autoimmune disorder where uh, certain areas of your skin um, reproduce cells at a rate of about, uh, depending on the person, between 8 and 15 times faster than the normal rate of uh, skin cell um, reproduction and regeneration. And uh, for the most part, it can, like, it can be, and it's a response, it can be, like, triggered by a lot of things. Um, uh, in my case, it's quite often triggered by weather. Cold weather is probably the worst time for psoriasis for me. I have a huge, huge uh, bit. Actually, I'm not wearing any unders right now, so I'm going to leave the camera where it is. I don't know. I might take a picture to uh, insert in. <laughs> Yeah, I stole that one from the uh, doctor's office. Don't judge me. And I will reuse them until they, until my fingernails pop holes in them. <sighs> really? <sighs> I know what they cost. So then what happens? Oh, right. Processing tab. Ah, <sighs> uh, then what happens? So yeah, the uh, the rather young sister. Ah, uh, she uh she notices. And then she calls over one of the other nuns, who then, after about a minute or two, it felt like longer, because I was eight years old, and, you know, a year takes forever to a small child, and a minute can feel like 20. But, um, so, uh, then what happens is, uh, she, uh, well, she calls over one of the, uh, the other sisters to come and take a look at what the hell is going on with my head. And, you know, after the second sister's there for, like, maybe a minute or two, like I said, felt like maybe five, maybe twenty. Um, uh, this is just some stuff to wipe off hair dye spots. Because tomorrow is club night, and if I'm feeling up to it, I'm probably going to go. And if I'm not... Then I'll just stay home. And, uh, so yeah, the, um, so, uh, you know, in the end, there were three nuns, like, surrounding my head, looking very intently, marveling at, uh, what the hell is going on with my head. Now, I get the, uh, I get the psoriasis largely from my dad's side of the family. Um, my dad had it all over his, uh, huh, maybe... Can we see any here? Probably not. Um, I'm at a bit of a distance, and I'm not going to drag that in and worry about having to clip out any genitals. I mean, I'm hung like a crazin, but, you know, still, it's like... <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, like, there's a... So, I knew it. I knew what it looked like, and, um, so, uh, she, uh... One of them, and I can't remember which one at this point in my life, because it's 30 years later, you know, and one of them is asking, D do, does your family, does anybody in your family have psoriasis? And I say, yeah, my dad. And 
uh, they, uh, and, uh, I remember I, uh, I did get a note, um, sent home with me to, you know, just, like, have this confirmed by the pediatrician, but, um, you know, my mother's a registered nurse, and, you know, because it's not a, you know, it's an autoimmune disorder, so it's not contagious, um, it means your body is having an abnormal immune response, you know, just naturally, and that's why it's called a disorder, um, I mean, some people say disease, but it's not really true. Got a nice big side of it over here, maybe? No. Um, and I mentioned in a more recent video that I've got a tiny patch on my eyelid. And I know I get it around here and a little less on this side, even though this is the side with some extra piercings. And a lot right here. Which makes some sense, because this side does have a piercing. Um, a lot of times it is a, uh, it is a stress response, so you can get it where you've been, you can get it at sites of injury, um, you can get it at sites of injury, um, you know, sometimes just emotional stress will, you know, cause some extra thick, um, outbreaks on my scalp of the psoriasis. I forgot to set the timer for this shit. They send me home with a note, you know, to you know, have me checked by a pediatrician just to confirm this, you know. And it wasn't one of those, like, you absolutely must do this, because, you know, the nuns understand psoriasis and how it works. And, um, you know, so they know, you know, it's nothing contagious, of course. And, you know, it was just, like, kind of a suggestion just to be sure, because, you know, I don't know, um, crap and stuff, apparently. And, um, gotta clean it out, right? Uh, so then what happens? So... Of course, because I have three nuns surrounding me, my head, because, oh yeah, one of them even explicitly said, oh wow, I've never seen anything like this on an eight-year-old on lice check day. On lice check day. So, of course, you know, even though I'm at school, like, pretty much the next day with all of my hair intact, so, you know... No note from any doctor or anything. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this all makes sense to a bunch of other third graders. Clearly, I have lice. Clearly, I've got more lice than anybody in the school has ever had lice. Or something. I mean, I guess on the good side, ah, uh, my younger, albeit much bigger than me sister, um, was kind of some muscle at that point. Uh, I've got another story about that. That's that's a little bit convoluted. Um, and I'm not going to get too far sidetracked to uh, fill out this story. But on the good side, I didn't have to call her to be on any muscle, muscle for me, but that kid was always bigger than me. Like, when I was born, I weighed a little over five and a half pounds and was maybe 16 inches long. To uh, give you some uh, reference, I believe average is considered in the area of 7 pounds and 18 inches long. Molly, on the other hand, when she was born, and remember, this is my younger sister, she weighed a little under 10 pounds and was about 22 inches long. Like, the child was almost as big as I was at 15 months old when she was born. So, uh, so yeah, I, uh, <laughs> that went over well when she started kindergarten and I was in second grade. But then what happened is, uh, so yeah, um, well, I mean, I guess that's the end of the story is, like, I didn't have lice, but kids were acting like I did for, like, maybe the whole next week at school. Uh, and, uh, even though by applying any sense of logic to this story, it was very obvious that I did not have had lice in any sense of, you know, the thing, I, you know, <laughs> I've never had head lice, I doubt I ever will, um, but, uh, but yeah, like, 
somehow, three Felician nuns, through just being a little bit careless about the situation, managed to unwittingly convince a whole bunch of third graders, who managed to convince a bunch of second graders, first graders, and even mm, a, a significant amount of the fourth grade class, that I, my father's second child, had lice. When that was literally never the case. So, laugh at my misery. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it for right now. Um, <laughs> as I tend to bats and kisses sweethearts and i do love you all so much and uh if you enjoyed my misery hit the like if you know if, if you think i should shut my face hit the dislike either way feel free to subscribe bell notifications on and all that shit and you will see me talking a whole lot of stuff and nonsense next time i make a video all right take care bye, -bye.